Hello and welcome to Conversations with Ruth. I am Ruth. I am also known as Notorious RVG. During the time I work with ACLU, I encountered legal aid attorneys and was always impressed with their dedication and good work. I realized that I do not know much about legal aid of North Carolina. I have wondered what legal aid really is. How is legal aid able to serve all those that are eligible for its services? That legal aid not only provides services in specific areas, but to target populations, such as veterans, seniors, Native Americans, and victims of trafficking. Equally important is what are the services legal aid provides? Well, to answer those questions, I ask that you join me in a series of interviews about getting to know Legal Aid of North Carolina. I promise you that I and you together, we will learn what Legal Aid is and what services it provides. Welcome. North Carolina Senior Law Project is the topic of our conversation today. The Senior Law Project is a special project of North Carolina Legal Aid. They provide services to seniors, people who are 60 years or older. Joining us to talk about the project is Meredith Gregory, Supervising Attorney with the Senior Law Project. Ms. Gregory, I am privileged to have you here. Thank you. Happy to be here. Let's start by perhaps explaining what type of cases the project handles. Um, the Senior Law Project handles um, generally the same cases that Legal Aid of North Carolina handles. So we handle uh, multiple types of civil um, legal issues. So we do housing, like evictions and foreclosures. Um, we help people with public benefits. Um, we uh, handle consumer issues. Mm -hmm. What makes the Senior Law Project special is we, we handle all those types of cases, but for people 60 and over. Mm -hmm. So the same types of issues, just a special set of clients. And we also, in particular, are able to um, pursue elder abuse cases. So financial mm. exploitation, um, physical abuse of elders, that sort of thing. So that's a particular area of the law that the Senior Law Project um, deals with. And that is important because uh, it's not just powers of attorney or wills. You handle all kinds of civil, you said? Yes, ma'am. So we do not do criminal cases. And how do you provide the services? What do you do with, for someone who calls, let's say, wanting information or having a grievance about housing conditions? What kind of services you give? Um, well, we at the Senior Law Project, we also run a, we run a senior legal helpline. So people from all over the state, age 60 and over, can call our senior helpline. So that's often the way that people reach the, the um, Senior Law Project is through calling our senior helpline. So you would, if you called, if a senior called our senior helpline, they would, they would go through intake and a file would be opened and then they would be assigned to a particular attorney. And that attorney would interview the client and sometimes because we are a helpline, sometimes we simply give some legal advice or some direction over the telephone or sometimes we open um, kind of a bigger file to, to give extended service to that senior. And by extended services, you mean direct representation in court or all yes, the matters? Yes, correct. We can do direct uh, representation. We can do some litigation. We are, of course, limited in our resources because we are a nonprofit, but we do do litigation, um, extended service, direct representation. Yes. Um, and where are the attorneys that are with the project? Um, the, our main office of the Senior Law Project is located in Asheville. Um, we have four attorneys there in that office who all work for the Senior Law Project. 
but we also have attorneys um, spread out across the state in our various local offices. So we're not just located in Asheville. We do have attorneys across the state. So that's how you become statewide. Yes, correct. And if, an, if a matter is being handled in an office far from Asheville, uh, how do you manage that? Well, if we have, if the, if the client is located in an office where we have a senior law project attorney, that um, senior law I project see. attorney would handle it. For example, we have attorneys in Raleigh, Greensboro, Wilmington, Concord, Pembroke, mm -hmm. and because we're spread out, there is a, a pretty good chance that there could be a senior law project attorney close to that actual client. If not, we also work with other staff attorneys in local offices, and um, can we can also co-counsel or just sort of offer that. advice and direction um, about issues that are specific to seniors. I see. So you provide support to the attorneys in the field offices? Yes. And... For someone that calls and is has to be over 60, 60 or over, you said, are there any other eligibility criteria? Well, we at Legal Aid target low-income seniors, so we do always do an income screening to make sure that our clients are low-income. In general, we, we target low-income clients. We at the Senior Law Project, we do have a few special funding sources and grants that allow us to serve seniors of slightly higher income levels mm -hmm. than other um, regular offices of legal aid. But we do always, of course, it's sort of our mission as legal aid, we do, of course, target low-income seniors. And uh, what are those fundings, do you know, that allow more uh, services to someone that perhaps the income is higher? Um, we have Title III B funding, which is which comes from the Older Americans Act, mm -hmm. um, that allows us to serve higher income funding. Um, we also have an elder abuse grant from the governor's the governor's Crime Commission that allows us to represent seniors who are victims of elder abuse um, at who are at higher income levels. I see. Do you also um, provide the community any education or community services? Yes, we do. We um, will often go out to senior centers, uh, community centers, various other um, public spaces and do education. We can do presentations on things like wills and advanced directives or on elder abuse um, and other types of legal issues that are pertinent to seniors. Well, thank you, Ms. Gregory. We have run out of time. Uh, this information is very helpful. I am very grateful that you came over. Thank you.